Ever pondered over the secret to crafting the perfect rasmalai at home? Well, wonder no more. Today we're diving straight into the heart of this delectable Indian dessert that has enamored taste buds globally. First things first, gather your ingredients. For the rascalas, you'll need two cups of full cream milk, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and a cup of sugar. For the rabrai, assemble half a liter of full cream milk, a quarter cup of sugar, a pinch of saffron, and a half teaspoon of cardamom powder. Finally, for garnishing, have a handful of chopped almonds and pistachios at the ready. Kick off the process by preparing the rasgullas. Start by boiling the milk in a heavy bottom pan. As the milk comes to a boil, add the lemon juice. Stir gently and watch in fascination as the milk begins to curdle. Once the milk has fully curdled, strain the mixture using a muslin cloth. Rinse under cold water to remove the lemony tang then hang it for an hour to let the excess water drain out. Next, knead the dough until it turns smooth, then shape it into small, flat discs. While you're at it, get a sugar syrup simmering in another pot. Drop these discs into the syrup and cook for about 15 minutes until they're light and fluffy. Your rasgullas are now ready. Now shift your focus to the rabri. Boil the milk in a pan until it reduces to half its original volume. Stir in the sugar, saffron, and cardamom powder and let it simmer for a few more minutes. Finally, it's time to assemble your rasmalai. Gently press the rasgullas to remove the sugar syrup, then drop them into the rabri. Let them soak up the rabri goodness for a couple of hours. Sprinkle the chopped nuts on top for a delightful crunch that perfectly complements the soft, creamy rasmalai. To summarize, perfect rasmalai is all about crafting the rasgullas and rabri separately, then bringing them together. Start by curdling milk with lemon juice, straining it and kneading it into a smooth dough. Shape this dough into discs and cook them in sugar syrup to make the rascullas. Meanwhile, prepare the rabri by boiling milk with sugar, saffron and cardamom until it reduces. Then let the rascullas soak in this rabri. Garnish with nuts and voila, your perfect rasmalai is ready. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, if your first attempt doesn't turn out as expected, don't lose heart. This delightful dessert is worth the effort and patience. So, Roll up those sleeves and get ready to wow your taste buds with the magic of homemade rasmalai.